in the last part of this class, uh, we discussed example taken from the previous final year examination. So this is the example of uh, two uh, stages uh, that made up the uh, multi-stage amplifier. The first stage is the uh, BJT amplifier. This is a common emitter. This is common emitter. And the second stage is common drain. Yeah. And uh, these two stages are connected uh, by the capacitor. So this is the RC couple. This is RC couple multi-stage. Okay. So all the uh, DC part or DC parameters for the BJT and MOSFET are given so the Q point of the BJT is given ICQ this is 0 0.7 6 milliampere for the eMOSFET the Q point uh, only VGSQ is given 3.55 volt okay for the eMOSFET usually we use the IDQ we need to have the IDQ to do the calculation okay uh, actually, we can use the VGSQ, but uh, uh, we have we mainly use the IDQ. So let's uh, standardize the uh, this analysis. So we need to uh, calculate the IDQ. IDQ can be calculated using the the K VGSQ minus VGSTH square. So the K is uh, zero point five milli. VGSQ is uh, 3.55, VGSTH is 2 square. This will give the uh, IDQ is equal to uh, 1.2 milliampere. Okay. So IDQ is 1.2 milliampere. Let's do the uh, the question. So the first question, sketch and label the small signal hybrid pi model. Okay, so you uh, draw the the amplifier, the hybrid pi equivalent circuit starting from the uh, source. So this is the V signal. R signal. And we have the R1 and R2 here. It is in parallel. Let me I simplify this one. I make it, I combine the R1 and R2. And then we have the base and emitter. We have the R pi. So this is the V pi. At the emitter, the R E2 is bypassed. So only RE1 remain. So this is uh, the RE1. Okay, between uh, emitter and collector, we have one. This is the GM1 V pi. Okay, here and then we have here. This is the RC. So next, you go to the second stage. Second stage. So this is uh, V up one, and this is V I. The V up one, R three and R four is in parallel. And then V G S. This is. Uh, between gate and source is open circuit and then at the source we have the RS and RL RL is 20k between source and drain we have the GM to VGS and we also have the RD here connected to the ground. 
Okay, so this is the hybrid small signal hybrid pi model, uh, hybrid equivalent circuit at the big band. Okay, so this is the redrawn uh, uh, equivalent circuit. So take note that okay, I, I, I set this uh, the circle shape, but the proper one is the diamond shape. So the, first, the next question is derive the expression of V out 1 over VI. So what is VI? VI is here. This is the VI. This is V out 1. So the V out 1 is equal to. So you, you use the, this, uh, the, the first, the side of the first uh, stage. So this is minus GM1 V pi. And then this is RC times RC parallel with uh, R3 parallel with R4. Okay, so this is RTH2 is R3 parallel with R4. RTH1 is R1 parallel with R2. So this is the equation for VR1. Equation for v VI. What is VI? VI is uh, this is VI. VI is the V pi plus the voltage drop at the RE1. Okay, so V pi plus V RE1. So what is voltage drop at V RE1? The voltage drop is the IE emitter current times the RE1. So IE is equal to beta plus 1 IB. So I can uh, put it here V pi plus uh, IE RE1. IE RE1. So uh, I will do the uh, the we need we need to convert this IE. Okay. How you can convert this IE? So the relationship is IE equal to beta plus 1 IB and then you know the IB is the uh, current at the R pi. So the IB is equal to V pi over R pi. Okay. So from using this, uh, this relationship and then you can uh, express what is AV1. So they say, they say this is one is uh, AV1. AV1 is uh, VR1 over VI. So VR1 is uh, minus GM1 V pi RC parallel with R3 parallel with R4. Okay, this is over this V pi. V pi plus uh, beta plus one R pi V pi R E one. So you can uh, sort this. Uh, you can uh, cancel out the V pi, and at the end the Equation can be something like this, V pi 1, GM1, and then this is uh, RC parallel with R3 parallel with R4, and then we have here is R pi over R pi plus beta plus 1, RE1. So this is the derivation of AV1. Okay. So in order to calculate what is AV1, you need to calculate what is GM1. GM1 is uh, IC over 26, uh, sorry, 26 milli. IC is given as 0 0.76 milli over 26 milli. So this is 29.2 milli semen. This is GM1. And R pi is beta over GM. Beta is 120 over 29.2 milli 
So this is 4.1 kilo ohm. Okay, so you insert all the equation. The solution is AV1 equal to minus 35.21. Okay, so this is the AV1. So next uh, question is determine the value of z i and z out. So this is z out. Eh? What is z i? Z i. You see the RTH one. Parallel with this uh, impedance. This I call it z d. Okay. What is z d? Uh, Z B is uh, R pi plus beta plus one R E one. So this is uh, R H one is R one parallel with R two and then parallel with R pi plus beta plus one R E one. R1 parallel with R2 equal to uh, 4.4 kilo and R, this R pi is uh, this is 4.1 k plus 121.0.1 k so this is 4.4 k parallel with 16.2 k okay, the answer is 3.46 Kilo ohm. How about the Z out? The Z out is the RS, and then if it is parallel with the ZS, so RS parallel with ZS. So the ZS is one over GM two. How to calculate GM2? GM2 is equal to 2 over K IDQ. The IDQ we have calculated uh, at the first uh, page is equal to 1.2 milli. So this is 2, 0 0.5 milli times 1.2 milli. So this will give you the GM2 is uh, equal to 1.55 milli siemen. So this RS is equal to uh, 0 0.5 k parallel with 1 over 1.55 milli. So this the, the final answer is 281.7 ohm. So next we calculate uh, the gain of the second stage V out over V out 1 so this is the gain of the second stage this is the AV2 and you want to calculate the total gain AVS this is the AVS V out over V signal so what is AV2 so the AV2 is equal to V out over V out 1 so V out 1 So you know the V out one here. I oh know V out one is V out. V out is voltage drop across the RL. So you com combine the RL and RS, and then the current here is uh, GM two VGS. So V out is equal to GM two VGS times RS parallel with RL. And what is V out one? V out one is equal to uh, VGS plus the the V out VGS plus the V out. So this is equal to VGS plus GM two VGS RS parallel with RL one plus GM two 
R S square with R L. So this will give the A V two is equal to mm, will give the A V two is equal to G M two R S square with R L over 1 plus gm2 rs per with rl so gm2 we have calculated the gm2 is it you have calculated gm2 yes i think you have calculated gm2 1.55 really so the this will give the value of 0 0.43 this is the answer for av2 to calculate the avs what is the avs is equal to V out over V signal. So this is V signal. So this is equal to V out over V out one times V out one over V i times V i over V signal. Okay, V out one over V V out over V out one is calculated as uh, minus 35.21 VR1 over VI oh sorry uh, okay, VR1 of VR over VR1 1 is the second stage gain so sorry, this is my mistake it's the second stage second stage gain is 0 0.43 the first stage is minus 35.21 okay, and then we need to uh, calculate the effect of the R signal with the uh, division between R signal and Z in so this is the Z in we have calculated the Z in Z in is uh, 3.46k this is 3.46k plus the R, sig R signal is 50 ohm so this will give the value of uh, minus 14.9 okay to calculate in db so this is 20 log modulus 14.9 this will give a 23.46 db decibel so this is the final answer so the last sub question is sketch and label the waveform of V signal and V out. If given in the uh, exact the question, the input the source signal Vs is the amplitude is 0.2 volt and the frequency is 2 kilohertz. So the V signal is equal to 0.2 sin omega t where the omega is equal to 2 pi f is 2 k t okay f is 2 kilohertz so t is equal to 1 over 2 k this is 0 0.5 millisecond So the input signal so this is 0 0.5 t millisecond so this is 0 0.2 this is v signal voltage this is minus 0 0.2 Okay, the V out, the expression for V out, V out is equal to uh, AVS time V signal. So AVS is, uh, we have calculated AVS minus 14.9 times 0 0.2. Zero point two 
sine omega t so this gives the uh, amplitude of minus 2.98 sine omega t so roughly this is minus 3 sine omega t so the waveform because this is minus so the waveform is inverted So this is the frequency will not change. So this is 0 0.5. So the T is uh, in millisecond. So this is 3 and this is minus 3. So this is your V out. This is the final answer.